Hello and welcome to Learn UXID, which means Learn User Experience Design and Interaction Design. Now, uh, in this video, I am going to show you some of the tips on how to actually organize your Pigma files. I have seen a lot of junior designers, even uh, mid-level designers, that they have terrible sense of managing their files and naming it. So I am going to share with you a few tips. Okay, so let's get started. First thing is that always make three or four different pages. For example, like you can see, I have this Instagram Pinterest shorts uh, um, project. And in this project, I have different pages like posted on Instagram, finalized on Instagram, Pinterest inspirations. So always separate your inspirations or icons or assets like this. Okay, let me show you one of my projects. So here I have one of the projects. You can see I have two. One is draft, one is final version. Uh, next tip would be I'm going to share with you is actually the use of sections. So I have seen that a lot of new designers. Let's fix this. Okay, so let's zoom out. And these are actually the final designs. So I'm going to go to design where we actually design the drafts. And I'm going to share with you different sections. So you can see over here I have client images. It's a bit messy right now. I haven't organized it because one of my junior designers, they work with me. So uh, we have this design, then we have a few files out of site. This is actually design. And here are the assets. So all the color palettes, different client images, uh, images or logos you can see over here. Let me uh, zoom uh, a bit. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So here I have uh, one image headshot, then a color scheme, then few variations of the logo. Then I have different uh, components, badge components I use here again, some colors. Uh, this is again logo. Uh, if I zoom in, you can see over here, this is a logo, a smaller version, but uh, this is a logo, okay? Okay, so we have uh, this, let's call it this draft design. Okay, so these are actually sections. So how you can make sections, go over here, uh, shift S or click over here and just drag around it, uh, around your frames and this is going to be a section. So let's uh, call it uh, unused blocks. Okay, so I have unused blocks, then I have client images, then I have different inspirations. So you can see I have contact us, uh, inspiration sections, testimonial sections, about sections. So these are the few inspirations. So you can keep them in a single section or you can have different sections on it. Then we have, again, you can see I have uh, for more cleaner version because you cannot show this file, this mess to your client, okay? So to show your clients, you can, you can rename it to anything. You can rename it like, um final design or client showcase or client final design something like that okay uh, here i have another final design because sometimes uh, i like my versions better and i keep them and sometimes the the my client he requires something else maybe some shorting of some space or something like that which i don't like okay so here we have icon and assets. So you can see all the icons related to this project I have over here. So you can see if I zoom in, you can see I have copied all the icons. Because this happened with me because I was using uh, something like this. So you can see there are many free libraries available, Panda icons. Let's take an example of Panda icons. Okay, so for example, if I am using a different file, or the icons, for example, like this, the panda icons. And once I uh, close this, and maybe I have to use another i uh, after few years, or maybe a year or six months, I want to use the same icons I have used over here. So I might forget what was the name of that the those icon libraries I have used. So for that, I always copy, I always, always copy all my icons 
libraries into my files so a different page with all the icons so you can see i have um here i have more icons so you can see uh, another blackout then i have finance icons because i am mostly designing for finance and law firms so again finance another icon so you can see over here so these are all the icons sometimes it's difficult for uh, me to you know get the images so i have tax or law company images over here so uh, this is how you actually uh, keep and organize your uh, figma files uh, okay so we have covered sections we have covered different pages sometimes we have a very big project so let me share with you my uh it was skill score yes this one skill score project so this was a very big project that included ux uh, audits uh, a lot of uh, you know research uh, branding pitch decks a whole revamp of a saas ai app so so you can see i have these pages and these are just the sections so this is a section and in it we have an audit a report you can see over here then we have ux dashboard issues that's uh, i did it on a live uh, session with the de development team okay so then the next section is design so it is an empty page okay so just to uh, show that these are uh, sections then we have this web design we had two designs two variations dashboard design uh, you can see a lot of uh, you can see icons and i have even i have different dashboard sections um covered in different figma sections so you can see login sign up is a, a single section this is a whole login flow then we have dashboard dashboard main dashboard shorts then we have uh, this is dashboard jobs i think so these are different dashboard views then this is there this one is profile view let me show you a bit zoom version profile dashboard upscales dashboard surveys and dashboard dark theme dashboard uh, sign up password reset screen sign up email verification uh, so this is how i actually manage so you can see over here it's very neat extras you can keep anything over here like maybe old app screenshots or something like that just to reference marketing and email templates i designed illustrations i have used i keep them over here icons i have used i have kept them over here this is you can see now i might don't remember what uh, icon library i had used over here i'm not sure uh, which was this so i just kept it over here okay so ideas and inspirations were over here so you can see dashboard ideas onboarding inspiration inspiration competitors uh, then we have marketing design where we have logo branding typography uh here we have different inspirations again we have different inspirations this is the new branding pitch deck so um, let me show you the pitch deck design this is the pitch deck and uh, uh then we have deck extras so some of the extras over here and inspirations and things like that so you can see this is how i actually manage my whole project so skill score skill score project and uh, again uh, if you want to manage your variables and things that is a different story so always have your colors like this so i have colors in a folder like ss then white black purple uh, dark bg uh, purple blues light bg you can have your own naming conventions and you can see semantic colors grays i have few grays a gradient and i haven't managed these too much but uh, you can have like text styles uh, inside it like heading sub subline h1 links plus buttons paragraph small paragraph bold paragraph normal heading 3 subline heading 3 h2 links second steps and this is for pitch decks pitch deck had different uh, typeface sizes because they are uh for different and they are for presentation so presentation font sizes are very different okay okay so this is how you actually organize your figma files 
So make sure you use uh, different pages, different set of pages, then show the pages that are ready to your clients. Don't show a messy artboard for, to your client or canvas. Uh, second thing is that you can also export your files into PDF to, uh, or uh, JPEG to show to your client. That's up to you. But I have seen that a lot of people, they generally share the links to their files over here like this to the clients. Okay. So these are a few tips on how to organize your uh, Figma files. Once I had um, a design session with a student and um, I think he was not a student. He was on job. He was doing some UX and UI job. And I told him about organizing different things in sections and he was really amazed. He was like, wow, I didn't know that Figma had sections and I can make different sections. And uh, once your section, for example, you can see mark as ready for dev. So if something is ready for development, you can also mark it uh, over here that this one is ready for development. Similarly like this. So that is all. I hope. You have enjoyed this lesson. I am asking you is, uh, is there any more tips or how do you organize your Figma uh, files, your pages, your different assets and icons in Figma. Uh, I hope to see you soon in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.